Uh, what I want to cover right now, especially because we've got Labor Day coming up and we frequently get calls about this, is how to set up a holiday in an auto attendant. So here we are in Mitel Connect Director, and I want to set up a holiday schedule because I have Labor Day coming up, and I want my main number auto attendant to go to a special Labor Day or holiday greeting and not to my regular greeting. So I'm going to go over to the wrench, click on that, and then if I don't know where my auto attendants are and I, can't, I don't want to search for it, remember you can always just type it up here and you'll see there's an option right there that says auto attendant. So you don't have to remember where all those menus are. You just click it and it takes you right there. Here's a list of all the Vertex auto attendants that we have defined at the top. And the one I use every day that you call into and reach us on is this VCI main AA. This is our main auto attendant, the primary one that answers uh, during the day. At the bottom, I'm going to expand this screen so we can see in more detail. So here's the general auto attendant settings, the uh, no DNS map. Here's the on hours button settings and the menu. We, we type in what it says. Here's the off hours. Here's the holiday. And here's a custom. So on hours has a schedule, and that schedule can be defined. You click on this, it'll take you right there to on hours, and you'll see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 7.30 to 5.30 is our on hours. Now, off hours, by definition, is the time that's not covered by on hours. You don't have to define the off hours. So I'm going to go back to my auto attendant, go to VCI main A, Make this bigger. And I'm going to go to holiday. So we have Labor Day coming up. I have a predefined holiday meeting, that, uh, greeting that says, hey, because the holiday we're closed, here's how you get emergency support and so on. But where's the schedule? The schedule is the holiday schedule that we created. Here's the link. It takes you right there. I click it. It pulls up my holiday schedule. If you skim down to the bottom, you'll see on here, we have several holidays, you know, Christmas and Thanksgiving from last year, from this year, New Year's, Independence Day, Memorial Day, they're in there. But we don't have Labor Day in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. There's a little tiny button. I hate it. It's so small. But it's right here. It says Add. I click that. It opens another box at the bottom. I type in Labor Day. Then on the date, I click this and it gives me a calendar. I'm going to jump ahead. Uh, Labor Day this year is observed on the 7th, the first Monday in September. I click Save. And now my holiday schedule is already in there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's do another one. Let's do uh, Christmas. Let's change it, though. So here's Christmas. That's the 2019 version. Let's bring it out to 2020. And Christmas is on a Friday this year. Everybody knows that's great, right? Because you get a, almost a four-day weekend, half day of Christmas Eve typically, right? That's nice. Click Save. Thanksgiving, I'll update that to 2020 as well. Just go here to 2020. And Thanksgiving 2020 is on the third Thursday, so it's the 19th. Am I right on that? Is that the 19th? Nope, it's the 26th. Sorry, guys. Ladies and guys, I'm an idiot. So it's the 26th, last Thursday. I click Save. And now I've got my holiday calendar updated. I have Labor Day on there. I have Thanksgiving Day on there. And I have Christmas on there for 2020, kind of just like that. Now I'm my auto attendant on my main AA. On that day of Labor Day, it's going to kick into holiday mode and it's going to go to my holiday greeting. The holiday greeting, we already have a file there. Um, let me go play it. Play you hear it real quick. Thank you for calling Vertex Consulting, a leading provider of computer networks and telephone systems. This is Steve Hall you're hearing. Our office is closed in observance of the holiday. If you would like to leave a message to be returned the next business day, please press 2. If your computer network telephone system is hard down and you need emergency support, please press 3 and you will be routed to our on-call support mailbox. 
So that's our holiday greeting. It's kind of a generic, we're closed for the holiday. That way we don't have to record it every holiday with a new one. Uh, as you notice, though, I wanted to let you hear that we're never going to leave you without support. We're never going to leave you high and dry. We do have an option for emergency support, even on a holiday. We're going to be here for you and if you need us. So uh, that said, remember there's a holiday, there's a holiday schedule, and you have a holiday greeting. Now let's say you want to change your holiday greeting and we create a custom one and talk about Labor Day. It's really easy to do, lots of ways to do it. One, you can import a WAV file. So you can have a professional voice talent do it for you. Uh, we have that. We have a great team of people called Worldly Voices. It's very inexpensive. I, I mean, for what they do, the work they do is great. And it's very low cost. So Worldly Voices can do one for you in kind of any voice, multiple languages, you name it. I mean, we're glad to do it for you, of course. Brian uh, uh, and Steve have the most popularly requested voices. Every time I call in, I'm hearing them on our customers' phone systems. Or you can record it yourself on your PC and import it as a WAV file. Additionally, you can record it just live from your phone. It just rang my phone to let me record the greeting. It's just that easy. Um, on preferences, uh, you can choose do you want it to record it from your uh, telephone or for, from somebody else's phone. So you've got a lot of options here. Let's back up one more second and show you. Sorry, I should hit cancel. When I click preferences, it lets me choose record from a PC or record from my phone, and then whose phone to record from. Like I could choose Matt at 1459, his phone would ring and he would record it. If I choose me at 1450, it's, it's my phone and I record it. So that's where you check your phone to record the automated attendant. So in summary, for the auto attendant for holiday mode, you go to the auto attendant you want to adjust. You go to the holiday tab, you go to that schedule, you add or update the date, and then you go back to the auto attendant and you just double check your greeting to make sure that it says exactly what you want to say. You can play it back, you can record it again from your phone or desktop or somebody else's phone or import one from a WAV file. So that is how you change your uh, automated attendant. Thanks again for joining us and, and lastly, I want to reemphasize, we are here to help you any way we can uh, during these unusual times with things kind of changing by the moment. Uh, you know, you need to count on those uh, that are there for you in any way they can be there for you. And that's us. We want to be there for you in any way we can. So please let us know how we can help you or your team uh, during these unusual times. We're here to help any way we can. Hope everyone has a great day.